Hello, so here is how to set up your GPA system. The first time you sign up or you sign into the GPA manager, you will need to set up your GPA system because it is this settings here that the app will use to calculate your GPA. Several schools uh, or several countries have different types of GPA system. There are those that are on a four point scale, there are those on a five point scale, there are those on a seven point scale. Those also in polytechnics, the lettering of their grades uh, differ from the lettering of the grades of those who are in a university. So I'm going to use the five point scale of the university system in Nigeria to show how this works. So um, your grade label is type A here, and then you have to tell us what is the value, what is the weight of uh, an A score. On a five point skill system, A means five. You click on this, it adds that here. The next grade is B, and B means four. You add it here. The next grade here is C, and C means three. You add it here. The next grade is D, and D means two. You add it here. The next grade is E, and E means one. You add it here, and then the next grade is F, and F is zero. Then you add it. So, once you're done, you click done. And uh, for now, it takes you to the home page, or it could actually take you to create your GPA record. So, if you come to settings, you will see that your GPA setting is there. So the, the app will use this. So each time you have an A in a course, the app understands that A means five point, B means four point and all that. If you're in Polytechnic, you may have A, A, B, B, C and all that. You need to provide what is the grade value of those grades. So that's basically what you need to do so that the app can now use these settings to calculate your GPA going forward. All right, now you have created or set up your GPA system and you want to create a GPA record. So you click on this. Here you have to select the session you want to create a record for. So I select session two. I have some records already. So I select session two, which is my year two, and then second semester. Uh, once I do this, I click this plus button here, and then I can begin to add my records. It's quite straightforward. So here you enter your course. So let's say the course is Physics uh, 101. And how many credit hours is it? It's a three credit unit load or credit hour, depending on how you want to call it. And then what score? You see that this is speaking from my settings. So I had an A. I click on this. I click again, physics 102, how many credits units, it says two, this says it had an A in the course, then you have physics 103, how many credit units, let's say it's three, and this I had a B, and then say it's physics 104, let's say it's still a three unit load course, and let's say I have a C, and uh, you can see that the uh, GPA is changing as I'm adding physics 105. Uh, let's say it's a two unit load course, and I have an A, and um, then let's just add one more is 106. Let's say it's a two unit load course, and let's say I have an A. So you see, it has created a record and I can see all the record. This is a record that I just created now. So this is method two. This is, these are my previous records, you know. So you see, it's giving me my cumulative grade point average. At every point in time, I will know my CGPA based on my semester grades.